Hi there! Have you ever had a situation where you've got a bunch of... Oops. <laughs> where you've got a bunch of onions and they look like this? And you're like, oh my god, I need to throw those things away. They're just bleh, gross. Well, actually, you don't need to grow, throw them away. The first thing you want to do is is you want to try to get rid of the, all this loose stuff so you can actually see what you're working with. And you're going to want to look through these. And if you find any that are all mushy, like this one, is, it feels pretty soft. Um, and this one feels very soft. And this one feels very soft. And that one, pretty dry. And that one's okay. So we're going to take a look at these ones that I've got on the, the board here. The rest of them are good. I mean, that one, this one is great. But these other ones, especially the ones that are growing like this, we're not so sure about. This one, actually, this one's fine. I'm going to just get rid of some of that extra skin so I don't have to deal with it making a mess later. Yeah, and I'll put that back in the bag to be dealt with on another occasion. All right, so I'll take a look at this one first because this one looks really gross, right? So what we're gonna wanna do here is just try to peel away all the loose stuff so we can really see what we're working. Oh, look at that, there's some rot in there. Now you're thinking, oh, Glenn, you gotta toss that out. Well, no, you don't actually. You don't have to toss it out because what you can do is if you're not a, uh, not a wimp, you can peel away all the rotten stuff, then you wash your hands, and once you're done, what's left is going to be a perfectly good onion that you can eat. Now, again, you're going to want to wash it off and your hands to remove all that nasty rotten stuff. But as you can see, that's good, and uh, we don't need those roots growing. And in fact, we can just take this off and there's that skin in between the layers. We can, you know, if we can get at it. This one's being kind of stubborn. There you go. You take that and you can toss that out and get these edges that are not so nice looking. And uh, the rest is good. And I'm gonna set this one off to the side. Cause as you can see, although it was partially rotten, Mostly it's just good. So I'm gonna just set that one off to there. What about this one? This one looks pretty gross. I mean, look at that. Look at that, oh my gosh. Well again, you got some rot, but you don't need to throw away the onion. All you gotta do is get rid of the rot. Because unlike a potato, well even with a potato you can actually do this. You can cut off the rotten part as long as it doesn't extend too far in. And um, you'll be good. So I'm going to get all this rotten stuff off of here, and I'm going to rinse it. It's kind of a bit easier to do this with water because then, otherwise, you know, you're not really slipping and sliding like you are when your hands are dry and the rot's there. So it actually helps to wash away the rot as you're working on it. So that one's okay, and you don't have to get rid of this stuff. This stuff is edible. This is like eating a green onion, it's just a different color. Okay, so I've got some more of this over here, little pieces. Just rinse that off. And then what about this? Oh, more of the same. Lots of rot. Now, we'll get off all that stuff there. I know you're thinking, oh, that's just disgusting. Well, if that's how you feel about it, you go ahead and throw it away. But for me, unless it gets pretty bad, I will salvage my onions. Now this one may be a little bit too far along. We'll just have to open it up enough to see. Okay, so you can see here that even though I peeled away the outside, the rot has seeped into the inside of the onion. Now, <coughs> so in this case, the best that I can hope for with this particular onion is to take the um, take off this part because these are good to, uh, to eat. Rinse them off. Make sure there's no rot on them. 
and we're gonna try to see if we can salvage. Let me see, look at that there. Even though I've cut off all that, it just goes too deep. So that one actually is bad. But that's because the rot got inside. If the rot had been on the surface, like with the other two that I showed you, it would have been okay. And here's another one where there's rot below the surface of the dried leaves. This is a very common thing. But the rest of the onion it looks like it's still good. So I understand that you may be squeamish about this, it may be gross to you, it may not smell that nice, but trust me when I say um, you don't need to throw away these onions unless the rot gets into the middle. And even then sometimes you may be able to salvage part of the onion because the rot hasn't proceeded deep enough to destroy, to make it too hard to salvage anything. And you can, then you can take this, this dry stuff that's at the top of the onion and you can remove that either with a knife or with your fingers, however you want. But as you can see, now it looks like a beautiful purple onion. And I don't want to use this right now because it's all dirty, so I'm going to rinse it off, make sure there's no dirt, no uh, old onion skin, and no, definitely no rot. Okay, now that I've done that, we can go ahead and we can process all these onions. And really, it's, it's quite easy. You're just going to take your onions, you're going to take off this part, and just set, leave it there. And you're going to want to get rid of the, the dry stuff, because, you know, the dry stuff isn't good. If it's all kind of wrinkly like this here, you're going to want to get rid of that stuff too, because that one is, you know, it's, it's still possibly edible, but it may not be nice. And it certainly uh, may not be um, um, enjoyable enough to be worth it. So we can get rid of that. The nice thing about onions that have gotten to this state is they're kind of easier to, to clean up than, than the ones that are fresher, I guess you could say. So there's that. And we can do the same thing with this one. Another way to do it is to, you can cut off the, the root end, and you can even keep that part here. This is actually technically part of the roots, but you can keep that, that, that can be cooked. It'll be nice and soft if you cook it. And then you cut off the top, just like that, and remove any dry stuff that you make, missed. And you can get rid of that, and you can get rid of that, those collars around the, the stems that are coming out, those are all usually going to be kind of dry, so you want to just peel those away like this. And I have my little compost bin here, which we uh, we live next to a woods, so when we're done we just dump the, the compost bin when it's full into the woods for the animals to eat. And again, just cut off the, the root bottom, cut off the tops, if you've got anything dry that's on the tops, you can peel them away, like this stuff here. Keep all those nice things right there. Now you can keep this or throw this part away, but it's too much hassle for me. So I'm going to get rid of that a little bit. Um, but the rest of this looks, oh, there's a little bit there. And then we've got these here, and one last nice onion. And again, this is all wrinkly and stuff, so it's getting close to the point where it's not usable and maybe rotting or close to rotting. And oh, by the way, if you see black fungus on an onion, the onion isn't bad. The onion is still good. You just have to, again, you have to remove the affected part or layer or layers um, that have onion and then make sure when you're, you're done removing those layers, you have to rinse it off really nicely and kind of rub hard with your fingers wherever you see that fungus. So here it's just going to kind of scrub with your fingers in order to remove that fungus. Now I would suggest that if you do that, you don't wait too long to use it. I mean, you can probably put it in the fridge or something and keep it there for a few days before you're going to need to eat it, but eventually you're going to have to get rid of it because, or not get rid of it, but use it because there may be some residual fungus that you missed that you can't see. So again, cut off the top. And we now have got 
lots of nice onions that were going to be thrown away just because you didn't look below the surface. It's kind of like, don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge an onion by what you can see. Look at all that good onion I salvaged just by not being careless, uh, careless and lazy. That's a lot. And well, I'm going to enjoy this for my dinner tonight, and I'm sure my daughter will too. My son doesn't like onions, so he won't be eating any, I'm sure. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope that this tip helped you out today. Have a great day.